dear students let us now find out the time of flight of a projectile given horizontal projection we know that the time of flight is the total time for which the projectile is in flight means the time taken by the projectile in going from o to c and let it be represented by capital t so it means we have to find out this time t let h be the vertical height of the projectile that have been uh, taken by the projectile so in that case it means our y is equal to h now using the equation y is equal to y not plus u y t plus half a y t square again y not is equal to 0 y is equal to h u y is again 0 because there is no vertical component of horizontal velocity so that is equal to 0 a y is equal to g since the projectile is moving under the effect of gravity so a y is equal to g and small t is equal to capital t putting all these values in this equation y is equal to so this is y not y is equal to h so we'll write here h is equal to 0 plus 0 plus half a by is g and this is capital t square right so from that uh, g t square is equal to 2h or t square is equal to 2h by g or t is equal to root of 2h by g this is the time of flight or this is the time taken by the projectile when it is given horizontal projection second case is to find out horizontal range now what is horizontal range horizontal range right horizontal range is the distance traveled by the projectile during its flight right means here here we are talking about this is the distance this is the range which is taken by the particle so it means in this case our time is t is equal to root of 2h by g right and uh, x which is the horizontal x is this distance which is equal to capital r suppose which is the range and uh, x not is equal to 0 ux is equal to u which is the horizontal velocity when it is given the projectile is given the horizontal projection and ax is equal to 0 since horizontal velocity is constant so acceleration along it is 0 so putting the values in equation x is equal to x not plus uxt plus half axt square so x is r capital r x not is 0 ux is u t is capital t because we are uh, finding the range for the whole time period plus 0 so from this r is equal to u and t we know that we have just calculated 2h by g we have just calculated this is 2h by g so this is the formula for horizontal range by putting the value of initial velocity height and uh, the acceleration due to gravity we can find out the value of range of the projectile now let us to find out the velocity of projectile given a Uh, velocity projectile at any instant right let us consider at this point the vel horizontal velocity is represented by vx and vertical velocity is represented by vy right this is the velocity which is the final velocity acquired by the projectile at any point p so we will not confuse with vy with uy right so v if we talk about vx vx will be equal to u which is same as that of initial horizontal velocity as we have already told that the horizontal velocity will remain constant so it will be same it means at this point at this point at any point the horizontal velocity will remain same now to find out vertical velocity vy is equal to uy plus ayt we know that the equation now vy is equal to uy is what it is zero because there is no other component vertical component of horizontal velocity so uy is zero plus ay is ay is g and t t is any time at which we are finding out the velocity so vy is equal to gt we get the value 
Now resultant velocity at this time if we complete this parallelogram we can get the resultant velocity v by using the equation v is equal to root of vx square plus vy square plus 2vxvy cos of 90 degree. Why 90 degree? Because the angle between these two velocities is 90 degree. So we will get root of vx square plus vy square. Now vx is what? vx is u root of u square and vy is g square t square. So this is the expression for final velocity. Now let us consider that this a is the angle beta angle beta which the which the this resultant velocity is making with the horizontal velocity so in that case we know that direction is given by tangent beta is equal to vy by vx now vy was gt and vx was q so beta is equal to tangent inverse this is gt by u so we have just find out the velocity and uh, at an instant of in instant of motion of the projectile.